welcome back to my channel. Remember that my channel is not made for kids because it is solely made for the adult collectors or for the adults who want to purchase these products for the kids. Today we have Miss Lila Yamamoto and she is an icon. I love a lot of things about her, but I also, there's a lot of things I don't really like about her, but we will get into all of that. For the most part, I, this is a doll that I see with a lot of potential, so I cannot wait to play around with her because I think I'm gonna really, really like her. All right, let's get into how she looks like in box. Here is Miss Lila. Her hair, her bangs are covering up her eyes and the ribbon, so you can't really see her eyes in packaging. But I did make sure, and for through some angle, I did see that she's not wonk-eyed. Then her buns did look good on this one. I actually didn't check them, but they look good on camera at least. And she does look really nice in packaging. She looks a little bit simple in packaging though. And here is her second outfit, which looks really nice. Look at that. And she also does have flat feet. I would assume so because these are flat-footed shoes. Then she is a visual arts focus like Miss Sunny. I think Sunny is also visual arts or she's digital media. Visual media? I'm not sure. But she's a visual arts focus. Look at that right there. I don't know the focuses anymore. I've lost track of all of them. And then on the back, we get her really cute artwork. That is how I wish her bangs came and not like that. Yeah, that's what they were going for, and that's what they gave us. <laughs> yeah, that is not a bang. That is not a bang. And I'm the king of bangs, so I know how to do bangs, and that's not it, sis. But at least they tried. All right, let's read her little description. So Lila Yamamoto is a street style icon in Tokyo whose style is influenced by her rich multicultural roots. Her dad is Japanese and her mom is Chinese. She shows up at Rainbow Vision ready to make her mark. Unlike her peers, she prefers to work her magic in the background. Look closely at the Rainbow Vision stage design and you'll see the artistry that Lila brings to every project she gets her hands on. From painting to sculpting to graphic design, she's a jack of all trades. Lila loves the arts and is always studying and experimenting with new mediums and colors. She takes influence from her books and loves bringing dreams to life with an edge. Her and Sunny meet when they bond over a rare manga, and Sunny tries to get her to help her friends in the competition, but Lila is not keen on playing favorites. And her quote says, making mistakes is better than faking perfection. The fact that she's Sunny's bestie, you know she's gonna make a big part of my series. That's enough of that. Anyways, y'all, see y'all in a little bit when she is out of the box, but from her little bio, I adore her, and I cannot wait to see her on the show. I love that she's half Chinese and half Japanese, which would explain some of her outfits. This doll was a little bit controversial, and before we found out her bio, because she looked Japanese with her outfits and everything, but there were some things that were pointing to a Chinese heritage. So it's cool that she's actually both, which kind of blends both of the fashions together from those cultures, but still makes it hip by making it street style for her, which is really cool. Anyways, I'll see you on a bit when she's out of the box. All right, and we are back. Now Miss Lila is out of the box. She is kind of fully restyled. She is one that I did already kind of change, but we'll look at everything. She is wearing a lot that she did come with because it definitely does represent her culture and I did want her to have that. Um, might make her something else or buy something for her. So we'll see what happens between now and when the full collection restyle video comes out. Let's start with her accessories and everything that she doesn't have on. First, she does have this cute little top, which has some cherry blossoms on it. And it is so cute. It's a lilac color and it is lined with a darker lilac. And it is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this top. The quality of it is very Lily Chang for a $30 doll. That is incredible that they can get this detail on a $30 doll. She then does have this belt that connects the top or a top to the skirt part and it is really nice. It is a nice little lavender color, and it does have a cute little RH, you know, band right there in the middle, and it does have this cute little accessory chain hanging off of it, which is really cool. I'm not sure what it is. It might be a little fish. I'm not sure, y'all let me know, like a little fish swimming in the sea, but it is really, really cute. Then she does have this skirt, which I don't like. It is Karma's skirt, just recolored into a lavender color. And, you know, it's the same thing as Karma where there's an underskirt. Then the overskirt is tulle and it has some glitter, silver glitter on it. 
so it's just her skirt just recolored I don't like recolored stuff so not a fan but then she does have this first skirt that she did come with and I do like this one it does have a cute little symbol right here of Japanese letters let me know what it does say it might say rainbow or sparkle or something just let me know if you do know she does have these beautiful studs that go all over the skirt it is so cool and the skirt itself is kind of like a metallic purple it does have a faux zipper and it does velcro on the back and this skirt is really really nice this doll did come with a second pair of legs she did come with the heeled ones but i put her on the flat feet actually she might be one of the only ones that i might put ever on her flat feet because i do like the second pair of shoes a lot but here are her first pair of shoes and they are basically crocs y'all literally platform crocs with a lot of little cool icons on the front there's like a smiley face some japanese letters a japanese word a little heart right there with wings then on this side she does have a rainbow and a cherry blossom over there which is really cool and there are studs on it which makes it even cooler i'm not a fan of crocs usually but these are platform crocs they're iconic and it does have these little straps on the back that do are like real crocs that move up and down but you can't really put it on like it comes off because it is so tight on the shoe you can't really like put this little thing through the hoop you have to kind of remove the shoe right so you have it like that but then to put it on you do need to remove it and it kind of just does pop off which is kind of annoying it's kind of on but it's kind of just like dangling there you see it's like hanging off on the edge but it is really cool that they included that strap now onto miss lila herself I adore her. This is a hairstyle that I probably would have done on her. Honestly, the braiding is a little bit intricate, but I think this hairstyle is not that hard to do. But I'm obsessed with her. I really honestly am. I like her a lot more. She had her whole forehead exposed. That was fixed. But she is so adorable. So her hair is in two buns that are kind of braided. And her hair color is purple. And it does have this light ashy brown to it that is the best i can describe that color and i love that mixture together then her she does have these little bangs up front that are you know they were kind of not good but i did strap them down with this cute little white sash from robin's i think from the slumber party line she does have little bows on her buns which are really cool and this strap i did put on the back with a bow it's upside down but we're not going to talk about that her face is absolutely stunning her eye color is blue and she does have different brows than any rainbow high. They're kind of like half brows. That's as far as it goes, y'all. Those are really, really different brows. And she does have really nice makeup. So you see the little lines on there and there's a space in the middle with no line. That is really cool. And I love the little icons right here on the bottom. I'm not sure how she got that on, but there's some nice little cherry blossom leaves on there and a cute little animal she does have a band-aid on her nose which is really cool and there's a heart in the middle of it and she has more little icons on this side and one's a heart that's so cute then she does have earrings that are cherry blossoms and they're meant to be like dinkly but they're they're not and one has an h and the other of course has an r they both have little pearls right there then for her lips i do find them really cool they're kind of two-toned so the top is kind of a pink color then the bottom is fading into almost her just her, her regular lip and it starts red up top and it just fades to her regular lip color. She is wearing this traditional blouse which is really cool and it is has a lot of structure to it. The base is white and it does say rainbow on it but in lilac lettering but it, the font color is lilac and it does have lining in lilac which is really cool and there are silver buckles here and there and straps she does have this cool belt which let me take off her stand that does have a bow up front with some cherry blossoms and it has this cool little rope tie up front and there is another bow on the back she did not come with this skirt but she did come with these gloves which are pleathery and they have a buckle and a little purple lilac sash and her nails are painted lilac then again she is on her flat feet but it does make her tall which what i don't like about the flat feet is that if you put them on they're just going to look shorter compared to the other ones which i guess isn't bad but personally i do like cohesiveness and with these it does make her tall these are probably traditional japanese 
shoes or footwear let me know what the proper terminology is she did come with these little socks they're just plain white socks and i did put them with these traditional shoes and they're beautiful and they have arches and there's little paintings of cherry blossoms on it so whenever I do get to go to Japan, this all is coming with me and she's getting a whole photo shoot there. And then her stand is kind of like a lilac-y lavender color. So that is it for Miss Lila. I am honestly am obsessed with her. And something I forgot to mention, her little top is kind of a bodice swimsuit moment and it does have a little bit of tulle that goes over her body, kind of like a swimsuit, which is really nice. All right, y'all, so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Miss Lila Yamamoto. I absolutely adore her and she's really, really cute. I love all the little decals on her face and the band-aid on her nose. I love her, how her culture is represented through her fashions, but yet made very fashion forward and very street style. I really do like that and I really do like all the diversity and representation that we got with this collection. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing was about her, which outfit piece was your favorite, and let me know if you preferred the first outfit or the second outfit. Anyways y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified of my next video and I'll definitely see y'all next time. Bye!